Yeah, it was a good tournament for us. Metro State was there, Colorado College, and CSU Pueblo. And then this week we head over to Pueblo. We don't play any of those teams, but um, we play all regional matches. So we all thought it was a good chance to get the kids a lot of, uh, you know, some tournament play, some singles, some doubles before we uh, had those regional matches pop up. And then looking looking to this weekend, a lot of tough regional matchups. Um, what's what's one of the things that you're uh, you're looking forward to seeing out of the team this weekend? Well, we just you know we want to be a little bit more competitive with those Texas teams. Last year they got the better of us, so I think we uh, have a little deeper team this year. Some freshmen came in, the seniors are working hard. So the key for us, even though doubles is only one point, I feel like we really need to win that point to go into the singles being up 1-0. Um, I feel like all the stuff we've been working on since last spring and early fall this year, being more patient in singles, working the point, um, hopefully pays off. And that first match is a big one against Dallas Baptist. I think the women play five matches and the men have three matches. So um, people don't realize that fall tennis does count because we won't play some of those teams in the spring. It's the only time we get to play them. It's nice for them to come up to Pueblo and, and meet. So uh, this will really would be nice if we can come out of this fall season with a winning dual record or, you know, 5-0, and 4-1, and 3-2 and two for the guys, hopefully 3-0, and 2-1, and one, something like that. So, yeah, should be some good tennis. Questions? Rebecca, how, how has your game progressed since last season? Looks like you're... Yeah, since last season, I would say... I'm a little bit more aggressive. I go into the net a little bit more. I, when I get a shorter ball, I get to take the opportunity and I get in there and I finish mo more points at the net than I did before, which I think have helped me a lot. Yeah. Is the tournament nice to kind of get back yeah. in the swing of, of playing a lot of matches? Yeah, it is really. It's, uh, it's nice the first weekend of matches since the spring and yeah, it definitely helps to get in there and feel how it is like to play match when you, we haven't done it in a month or, yeah. Nice to play someone different than her teammates yeah, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> Challenge matches uh, yeah. are very stressful, Patty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you have to play your teammate in the tournament. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. I was going to say, yeah. yeah <laughs> okay, well, we're not going to play that one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and obviously, weather in the fall is going to be a whole lot better. Take advantage of it now. And what, what can you see from... I just love the camaraderie we have going on the team. Everyone's really good friends. We just get along. We we push each other and practice really well. And Dan's been seeing that. We, we we're practicing really well together. Um, and we're all pushing. We're all we all want to see the, the success in this tournament last weekend. We all we saw good success for for every single one of us. And that was really good to have this warm up tournament to get a little loose. Um, you get you're a little tight in the beginning, but. You, you get in the swing of things, and I think we're all doing really good as a team together. I think the weather here, Patty, is a good, I don't know how the other coaches feel, but it's so much hotter over here, and you go to the front range, and it's 10 to 15 degrees, 15 degrees cooler, and the training over here can benefit us, as long as I always tell those guys when we're out there sweating it out, and they're complaining about the weather. I'm like, hey, it's beneficial for us, because it's usually, even though Denver was pretty hot this weekend, I was surprised, but, so I think it's beneficial for, that's one thing I like about being over here on the western side of the state is, in the fall, it's a little bit hotter, and then we go over there and it's cooler. Pueblo is supposed to be, I think, in the 90s, so that'll be, I think we have an advantage there. Plus, you know, Dodge Lightning. Yeah, Dodge Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> get, get ready for, you know, the Southeastern, you know, you'll get, yes, get Lightning Yes, that's true. Down there too, so it's they had a little bit of the tournament, they didn't stop it, but none of us coaches were like, okay, we're almost <laughs> done. <laughs> get it done yeah, quick. I think that's yeah. what the Metro guy was. I hope that my person doesn't come out, because we're like 20 minutes away from wrapping this up on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, Sunday looked like it got a little long. Oh, it was uh, yeah. driving back. I almost pulled, we had to pull over because I think mean, it was around Floyd Hill. It was just a downpour. Yeah. And there was a wreck, I think, yeah, too, wasn't there, guys? Mm -hmm. So it was crazy. It was, you couldn't even see. It reminded me of being in Kansas and Oklahoma. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> little, little bumper shooters coming up. <laughs> This early in the season, uh, you know, you got freshmen coming in, kind of working out some kinks. Is it interesting for you to figure out, you know, what you really have at the start of the year? Yeah, and I know Rebecca, like her freshman year, she struggled with one. You played a lot of clay court tennis. We have another girl from Denmark. Um, she got here, I think, a week or two early though. Um, came for FYI, or anyway, she. Those, so those Europeans sometimes coming from the clay court and the altitude, the ball flies on them. So, but she made a really quick adjustment. Um, so that was beneficial. But we do like the, we have a couple freshman girls that are pushing, and one freshman guy, I think, 
that's pushing us pretty hard. So, and he's a Denver kid, so he was used to playing in the altitude and the heat. So, um, yeah, but you can't see them progressing. And like I think Mitch hit a good point. These guys are all really friends this year. It seems like not that last year's team wasn't, but we had a lot of scheduling issues last year with seniors that couldn't be at practice at this time or that time. And it's hard to build that camaraderie when you. Not just because they're just trying to graduate. Like I always try to explain that to the young kids. It's not like they don't want to be here and they hit with my assistant coach or I or some other teammates. That's the nice thing about our sport. We don't have to do five on five like basketball or soccer or whatever. But so, but the other kids, it just seems like no matter how many times you tell them that, they're like, why aren't they here? Why aren't we more of a team? I'm like, well, we're trying to be, but they're also trying to graduate. So that's what Rebecca's going to experience in the spring. And I think Mitch doesn't have to take too many classes. Or So it's, it is nice that they can do things together. So it does build more team camaraderie as Mitch hit on. That was a good point, Mitch. Yeah. And we're all feeding off of that energy that we have that good energy and one goes to the next and the next and we're all rooting for each other big out there, so and that helps a lot. Half of us were rooting for Mitch and half were Chapman. <laughs> or was it mostly for Chapman? Yeah. It was like go Mavs. Go Mavs, you didn't say any names. <laughs>